I'm going to show you the garden. Eventually I'll have a better pathway, slightly wider, and it'll turn right here so that I don't have to step over the grass because I don't really like to wear shoes out here. This is the beautiful garden that Granddad has built. And uh, you can see the chicken wire and the uh, lattice here. So most of the critters are prevented from coming in. My beautiful gate with a hook and candle. And a little bit of a, a flagstone entry. All right, so now if we can aim from going clockwise. These are mini potatoes right here. So I planted little tiny store-bought potatoes. I think they're called heirloom potatoes. And they're about this big, although I noticed today that I have another little one here and another little one here. Um, and these are a little bit older and bigger, but uh, the groundhog, uh, when she was trying to get out of the garden, she kind of moved things around in here on this side and a couple of other places. This is a tomato plant, which should be staked. And this is my parsley, which was eaten down to the to nubs, but it's come back. Here's a uh, basil, and it's actually three different pieces, so I might divide it. And this is uh, another three different basils, but I they were also kind of eaten up, so I left them where they were. Tomato that has been revived since uh, the groundhog has had no blossoms. This one was not really nibbled on very much, and you can see... I've got some baby uh, cherry tomatoes coming up. This is um, uh, one of the tomato plants that Rebecca gave me. And I'll need to stake this up pretty quick here. Um, I've weeded today already, but they just, I'll weed and then an hour later there's more. These are um, radish greens. I took radishes that were a little bit too old in the refrigerator and I planted them. You can see this one is still in here um, and it didn't produce a, a plant. Uh, and actually some of them were eaten up by the groundhog too. But um, apparently these are good for eating in salads. I haven't tried it yet. Um, here's another cherry tomato with lots of little blossoms and a few cherry tomatoes coming up here. And then some more of the heirloom potatoes, another tomato. Along the side are some beans. At different stages of development, the groundhogs nibbled most of them down to nothing, so I had to replant a few. Uh, this is one that made it past the groundhog. Here's my little green pepper. Uh, this one is supposed to be yellow pepper, but these two are green peppers. And this one is, uh, you can tell the groundhog got it, and this is the one that it, it totally, completely got down. All right, so here's what I'm excited about. I took a celery and I chopped off all of the celery stalks. You can see this. That was the, the base. And then I put it in water in the kitchen and this grew out. So now I've planted it to see if it will actually uh, produce real celery. We will see. Um, these are seed planted radishes in three rows with beans behind them. And then I have uh, another tomato. Um, I planted some dill in here. 
But I think with all the, the proliferation of weeds, I probably, I either didn't get any dill growing or um, I pulled it up thinking it was grass or some other thing. And I already weeded in here today, except for right back in there. And uh, it's, it comes that fast. This is my chive plant, which I didn't put in the garden because it expands so much. Here's rosemary and lavender. I did have an oregano plant over there, and uh, Rebecca gave me one too, but it doesn't look like it made it. These are peas back here. There's another one there and another little one. This is golden sage. <clears throat> and then I planted marjoram over here. I have no idea if this is the marjoram or not because I don't know what it looks like when it's a baby. That's English thyme right here with the little tiny, tiny leaves. I look forward to using that. And then this is zucchini. And you can see some uh, zucchini uh, plants that will be growing in there. Uh, I planted carrots here. The woodchuck did a number. She dug a great big hole where the two rabbits are. And most of the carrots didn't make it over there. But a few might. And then here is... The giant zucchini of all zucchinis. Uh, with uh, some blossoms there, there, and back in there. And uh, and it's about twice as big as that one, even though they weren't when I bought them. Another tomato, a bunch of lettuce growing down here. And uh, this is a squash plant. I'm assuming it's gonna be a yellow squash because that's what this looks like right here. So, um, I don't remember what kind of squash it is, but I didn't buy it, it was given to me. And so that is the garden. What I plan to do also is uh, I have some sweet potatoes rooted in the kitchen and I have a bag of potatoes that's all sprouting. So I was hoping to plant those and um, I have some lettuces that I'm doing the same thing that I did with the celery. I'm chopping things off and then seeing if I can root them and uh, plant them so that I don't have to buy seeds for them. They say that it works, so we'll see. And that's my video. Bye!